QD3, Quincy Jones' son, he said that after Tupac died, he tried to get Michael Jackson to be on the Machiavelli album, but he said no because he was more of a Biggie fan. What you think about that? I think uh, Michael Jackson probably was mad at Pop for walking out, <laughs> you know, because, you know, Michael Jackson wanted to do a song with Pop back in the day. And Pop was so excited and when he got to the studio and Michael Jackson wasn't there, he felt offended. Like, you could at least came to meet me man to man and, you know, and I'm doing I'm doing a favor for you as well. Like, you know, even though, you know, of course, Michael Jackson, we ain't trying to say, you know, who he was back then. But um, Pop was more into morals rather than just, you know, you know, he was more into personal morals and saying, OK, if you want me to do a song, at least meet me in the studio. Let's talk about the song. Let's say hi to each other. You know what I mean? And when Michael Jackson wasn't there, he walked out. Michael Jackson probably <laughs> he was getting revenge. Like, OK, you know, you walked out on me. Now it's my turn to sh you know, you know, because and he probably and Biggie did a song with Michael Jackson. You know, so later on, if I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, I think so. So I think he put him on a remix after Pop walked out later on. He put Biggie on one of his songs. You understand? So he probably was just like, OK, he might recall that time when Pop did that. Or maybe Hit Him Up came out. Michael Jackson probably was like after he heard he might. I think he did, was a fan of Biggie and a fan of Pop. You know what I mean? He might have heard hit him up. It's like, I, I really don't, because you know how Michael Jackson is. He's timid. He don't want to be involved in none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, and QD3 knew him personally. I'm talking about from, you know, since he was a kid. So I don't think QD3 would have any, he wouldn't lie, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe it is what it is. People got to realize, people got to realize, listen, people can turn pot down, like, <laughs> you know? If Michael Jackson want to say no to Tupac, he has the right to say no. People can't say it's not true because, you know, you do have some people that might really been a Biggie fan. <laughs> Michael Jackson probably was one of them. You know, he might have enjoyed All Eyes on Me, like Danny Boy said, but doesn't mean that he might not be. Because back in the day, there was people that was either a Tupac fan or a Biggie fan. You know what I'm saying? So Michael Jackson have a right to, he, he still can say, it doesn't mean he doesn't like him personally or never liked him, but he can say no to pop, you know, because pop fans love pop so much that they think that no one can say no. <laughs> you know, he, he, Michael Jackson probably was banging Eastside. I don't know. <laughs>